If you paid close attention to yesterday's video, you would have seen that there was a EURUSD buy to be taken. Make sure to check out yesterday's thumbnail and as well to be inside Discord as we call this position live. What's up guys, it's Fabio and we're gonna be diving into today's market outlook and see where the major dollar pairs are gonna be heading next. So EURUSD yesterday was a beautiful long which we called live in the live stream with over 100 participants. If you were in, make sure to let the rest know in the comment section down below. Overall, EURUSD has pushed up higher as expected in towards that area of 4-hour supply. So the thing that I'm liking about EURUSD at the moment is that we've been making a pullback after that bearish change of character, which you of course saw here with the overall black line. So as we know, there are two areas of daily supply where the market could potentially reverse from. So we have this extreme area of supply over here. And as long as the blue line is respected, the market should continue down lower just based on pure structure, right? So obviously today we have news, uh, we have NFP, which is gonna yeah, probably nuke the market either in towards the upside or in towards the downside. Um, so all I can do is just manage my expectations based on what I understand is to be right and correct with my mechanical trading strategy. So I know that we have supply over here and we have supply over here. So we're currently inside this daily area of supply. Overall, we've made a good pullback here on the fractal structure. If we just draw in our FIB tool, you can very clearly see that the market has pulled back in towards at least the 0.5 FIB. Let me turn it on. And we're in between the 0 0.5 and the 618. So the daily looks good for further downside continuation. Now go in towards the four hour time frame, and what you're seeing is pretty much the exact same thing which we formed in towards the downside, which is another descending pattern. So we had a very clear descending pattern after a pretty overextended move. Then again, this is not really an overextended move, but it's a nice push. And now what you can see forming is a one, two, three, as they call them. So we have a one high, a second high, and now we've seen a fake out on that second high, which to me is enough for a potential pullback play in towards the downside, right? Um, and then in addition with the fact that we have this area of four hour supply, it is good to look for potential shorts. However, for those shorts to play out, what we now need to see is confirmation that there is bearish momentum going to be kicking in into the market. So first of all, overall, what I understand is that we have a correction pattern in towards the upside here, um, which can push price further down lower of this four hour swing structure. Next to that, if we just draw in again our Fibonacci retracement tool, you can very beautifully see that the market pulled back perfectly in towards the 0 0.5 Fib. So what I'm now looking to see is again, are we gonna see bearish confirmation in towards the downside? So at the moment, what I'll be looking for is a 15 minute shift in the overall structure to look for potential shorts. For the rest, we obviously know that this is your four hour fractal low. So this is the low which has now broken this previous fractal high, which I also noted down as liquidity. So I am looking um, to see if we can get shorts, like the highest probability shorts will obviously come once we break the blue line. Um, but yeah, with NFP, we could just either nuke down or nuke up. So if we do nuke up, then obviously we'll be looking at this area of supply over here for potential shorts. And because as long as the overall swing high holds, uh, yeah, could the market continue down lower? So just keep that in mind. For the rest, uh, yeah, just waiting uh, pretty much on uh, yeah, your USD. Going in towards the 15 minute time frame, we can very clearly see, yes, there was a little bit of a choppy day due to the news. So overall, if we just view this from a structural perspective, what I understand is that we had a break of structure here and we've now got another break of structure over here. So for a break of structure, we need a candle close above the high. Did we get that? No, not yet. So you can see it's just purely a liquidity grab. So not interested in any shorts yet. What I want to see first is pretty much just the 50 minute candle close above. And then I'll be looking uh, yeah, for a potential short play back in towards the downside. Okay, so that is it for your USD. I'm not saying 100% we're going to start selling off from here, but I will be looking for a 15 minute setup and then who knows we could be in good profit already and hold through potentially NFP. So um, yeah, just keep in mind four hour fractal is still bullish, but obviously the overall swing is always gonna be stronger than the fractal structure. We pull back in towards 0 0.5, we've got a corrective pattern upwards, so it could indicate that there is downside momentum. But before we take shorts guys, and this is with every short setup that you take, we need to see the confirmation. And the confirmation comes through looking at structure. Does structure show us that we're now bearish? Yes or no, then we can take that potential setup. So moving onwards into uh, the next pair, which is of course, or let's say index, which is the dollar index. 
So the dollar index over here has pushed down lower in towards this demand zone. So this is the only thing that I'm not really liking for potential shorts is that we're currently breaking this area of four hour demand. Obviously, as we mentioned in yesterday's video, we were expecting for the downside, which we got. We then arrived in that area of four hour demand. And as you can see straight away, a quite a bullish reaction. Um, now we're breaking through this demand zone. For now, it is perfectly fine. Who knows, we might just push down, down a little bit lower in towards this daily zone. Uh, again, which I mentioned in yesterday's video. So let's see, this is our last area of support uh, from where I would like to see the market move up higher. So once we arrive inside that area of uh, daily demand, which is pretty much if we just refine it, uh, this overall zone over here, I want to see some bullish momentum kick in. So I want to see a change of character on the four hour time frame to indicate to me that the market is ready to continue up higher again. Now moving into, let's say Aussie dollar, that's the next pair. So AUD USD here on the daily and the four hour. So focusing on the daily real quick, what we know is that we have supply inside this candle over here. Not too interesting to be honest, as we haven't touched it yet. Uh, the four hour is looking a little bit more interesting in the sense that we have pulled back up in towards this area of supply. Um, so this is the high, this is the low. We've now pulled back in towards 0 0.5. Nothing much has changed from yesterday's setup. What I was looking for and what a lot of you were looking for were potential shorts. But remember what I mentioned in yesterday's video, guys, that the overall order flow is so important. It doesn't matter if you pull back. Let's say this is the 50 minute swing, right? So this is the high, this is the low. Um, then everybody's looking, uh, for example, to short inside these bearish candles over here. Or everybody's in here looking to short. But what you need to understand is that supply and demand doesn't really matter. Market structure doesn't really matter. It's when you bring it all together. So what I'm looking for is to see if the overall order flow is going to break. So what you can very clearly see is that we had sub for the buy. And then again, we react bullish. We react bullish. So the entire order flow just remained bullish in towards the highs, right? Even this zone over here, you can see just really maintained uh, its strength. Now, Yesterday, the overall order flow kind of shifted in towards here, this more internal uh, order flow. So what I'm looking at at the moment is to see, okay, what's happening over here. Uh, this is the overall sell before the buy. Here we closed above. Now we've moved all the way down in towards the extreme. I'm just checking it out. To be honest, if we break this high again, then we could just continue up higher. Um, I'm just going to be waiting. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of liquidity be being built up underneath these lows, guys. Uh, we have so many equal lows here with a lot of liquidity, which I would love to get swiped. But first of all, we need to see bearish momentum kick in. I need to see structure shifting bearish and order flow shifting bearish. And for now, the order flow is just uh, yeah remaining bullish. And with order flow, I just mean the overall trend, right? We're just making higher highs and higher lows on Aussie dollar. Going in towards the four hour, I'll just be waiting to monitor what happens here uh, from this supply zone. And otherwise, if we do move up higher, then obviously we'll have some refined targets of supply. For example, this zone over here. Uh, if we do move down lower, then we have zone number one here and zone number two over here. So then you also have our two targets for if we move down lower, if we move up higher, this supply zone is going to be my next target uh, or potentially this higher zone over here. All right. So um, waiting for that going into GPUSD. So GPUSD has been moving higher, uh, pretty much also uh, what we expected uh, for our fractal structure, just doing its thing, guys, uh, as we can see for our fractal break again. Uh, so just continued up higher. Then what happens? What is the demand zone which broke this fractal high? The demand zone that broke this fractal high is this imbalance over here. Use the 50% body candle indicator if you need some help. As you can see, we wick in when we wick back out again. So then again, we just break the fractal structure over here. So another fractal high break. And now again, we have another fractal high break. So the overall demand chain is just continuing up higher. At the moment, this is the low which broke the high. So as long as this low is respected, we should continue up higher, okay? So um, yeah, just waiting for that. If we break this low, then we could start seeing some further downside. But as long as the low is respected, uh, we should just continue up higher, okay? So don't try and trade against the order flow. This is a nice supply zone over here, which I have drawn on. And we also have a liquidity high over here. So this is your one hour liquidity high. I'll just draw it in as a four hour liquidity high. So uh, yeah, potentially we could move down lower again from there. Um, but I'll just be following the order flow. If we already break this four hour low, then who knows, we could move down earlier as well. Because again, we have a lot of uh, yeah, equal lows forming underneath here, 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 here. So um, yeah, just keeping that in mind. Obviously, we could shoot up today with NFP, but I am seeing a lot of open lows uh, still on the charts. 
Let me know what you think about that yourself in the comment section down below. Going into the four hour here on NZD USD, we have pushed up higher um, like we wanted and as we expected in towards this supply zone. So for now, what I'm looking for is a short position. But what we need for a short position is we need the fractal high to be respected. We need this fractal high to break and then we need this fractal low to break. So pretty much just a change of character inside this supply confirming that we want further downside. OK, so that's what I'm waiting for here on entity USD again pretty much just a corrective pattern forming here, um, this kind of like wedge formation. So let's see, uh, do we get one more swipe of the highs and then a shift down break of this low and then we will be looking for a double break and for a short, okay? That is the game plan. Again, very simple. What you can see at the moment is that the overall order flow is just remaining bullish, right? We're just moving up higher again from these overall entire sell before the buy, right? So here again, you get the entire sell before a buy, you move back in, you move back out again. So just waiting to see what will happen over here on NZD USD. Uh, obviously, shorts look good. But again, as I explained earlier, guys, we need to see confirmation for shorts. So what I'm waiting for is just for this high to get taken out. If we take out the high, then, for example, with NFP, if you want a very risky setup, you could trade the low break over here and yeah, trade the expectation that there's still liquidity open below the slope because it never took out liquidity here to the left. So that is that if we move up higher. Then we'll just be moving towards a new higher high over here because obviously the daily is still bullish uh, in the sense that uh, the daily is a swing bullish, right? So um, we're just uh, coming from this daily area of demand. So we could just continue up higher in towards this daily area of supply up here. Um, if we do move bullish, then that will happen. And uh, yeah, I will not be looking for shorts because shorts are not ready yet as on the other pairs. Going in towards gold, our last pair. So what is gold doing? Gold has pushed back up um, in towards that 75% mark. So now gold is again looking good for a so-called sell. But keep into consideration uh, that we have NFP today. What I'll be looking for is pretty much a swipe of the highs. So yesterday uh, there was a initial short uh, to be taken. Um, as you can see over here, um, we all know, let's say we just focus purely on 50 minute structure, okay? If you were to view this, what you had was a break of structure down, then you have a break of structure up, and then you have another break of structure up. So here you have kind of like a double break, so you could have taken it on the high break over here. Then after a break of structure, what do you expect? You expect to pull back in towards the downside, right? Because the market will never just continue up higher and higher in just one straight line. So somewhere over here, you're expecting a pullback because remember, we came in towards the four hour supply, which I noted down in yesterday's video, this buy before the sell candle. Uh, and we also had liquidity above, uh, for example, this high over here, right? So this one. Now, I'm then looking for a potential short. So how do I identify the short? Well, we come in towards higher time frame supply. That's what we had first. We had the break of structure over here. So again, I'm expecting a potential pullback. I then go into the market itself. What do I identify? I identify over here uh, that we have a fractal high. The fractal high got broken by this low. So this is the first fractal low break. Then again, on the second fractal low break, uh, you have another one, and then you could look already for a potential short. So you could have already looked for the first short over here on the first area of supply, then short it in towards downside with your stops above the high, then you would have already hit a one to three risk to reward. And then on the second one, let's say you wait all the way for the second low break, then you have over here an area of supply. And as you can see, you just wick above it. Um, but yeah, you have to take into consideration it is gold, right? So you would then have an area of supply over here. Again, if you would put your stop loss right above the highs, you would get stopped out. Um, so that would have been a stop loss hit. So yeah, one win, one loss, 2% gain if you re if you trade the, the one to three risk to reward. So still pretty good. Now what I'll be looking for is another potential short. Um, as we're still in the highs, who knows, this could be the explosion that gold needs with NFP, but let's just keep an eye on it. Uh, and I'll be looking for potentially a swipe of the highs and then a change of character down. Uh, for now, the market is just moving more bullish, right? Because we're having higher high, higher high, higher low, higher low. Uh, so we want kind of like a sweep of the high and then um, yeah, trades kind of like that pullback. So that's it for today, guys. Thanks so much. Make sure to leave a like and join Discord link in the description down below and see you in tomorrow or yeah, in tomorrow's video. I have another one planned for tomorrow. See you guys.